one of my favorite tools within DesignX in the realm of automation is actually scan processes. They're a tool that's kind of underutilized. Um, they're more beneficial in areas of scan processing, uh, obviously because of the name. Um, so the reason why I say that scan processing is some scanners do their own processing and some scanners give you more raw data, right? So the scanner products that give you more raw data, um, these are very beneficial to pair with those types of products, right? So with the scan process designer, we updated one small thing in here and it works for scan processes and batch process. Um, it's essentially the same type of functionality. But in here, you can create scripts by using these commands. It's a limited set of commands, but yet it, it is very easy to build these scripts. And as you click on these, you can set the settings. So if you want to change a setting, it works just like the dialog is. And in this instance, with the auto surface, um, if you wanted to run Healing Wizard, then run Auto Surface, and then uh, export the uh, solid body, I'm going to say export the solid body that's created. Um, you could do both if, if you say that it's going to be a solid. Um, now hit OK. Um, what, I'm going to add one thing to this. So I'm going to say for this scan data here, let's do a global remesh. So this is how you would add to this script. If I say I want to do a, a global remesh and make this a solid, make it with a 0.5 resolution, and then hit OK there. So now what we have the ability to do with DesignX now is it'll run the healing measured mesh global remesh, auto surface, and then when it exports, it'll export that solid body, and then you can say where you want that to go. So I'm just going to say, save it to my desktop when you're done. And then you could tell it what type of file. I want this to be a step file. Um, and then what do you want the name to be? I want it to be auto surface. Now I'm going to hit that and then get out of this command. And I'll just go ahead and click on that mesh, come over to run scan process. And you'll see that I can click on that auto surface and then hit okay. So now it'll run a scan process and then save that file to my desktop.